The biggest difference between the i3 and i7 is that the i7 is a full-fledged mapping robot, while the i3 is not. The i7 generates a map of the area it cleans, and you can label rooms, set the robot to clean specific rooms, set keep-out zones, and set cleaning zones for the i7 using the iRobot Companion app. The i3 also generates a map of the area it cleans, but its mapping functionality is much more limited. You can only label rooms and set the robot to clean specific rooms. The i3 does not give you the ability to set keep-out zones or cleaning zones like the i7. Note that room labeling and room-specific cleaning was only added recently for the i3. During testing for our i3 review, the i3 didn't have any mapping functionality at all. Another big difference between the i3 and i7 involves how each robot navigates. The i3 uses a gyroscope and an optical sensor on the bottom of the robot for its navigation. The i7 uses a camera mounted to the top of the robot and navigates slightly more efficiently, completing its cleaning cycle slightly quicker than the i3. The only other notable difference involves each robot's edge cleaning performance. The i7 does clean edges better than the i3 according to our testing. The i7 pads ever so slightly closer to edges as it passes close and parallel to them, which gives it better pickup in this one area. Otherwise, both robots pick up debris equally well. Both robots performed well in our carpet stress test. Both performed well in our carpet deep clean test. And both performed well in our hard floor stress test. They performed so similarly because they have essentially identical airflow and suction and feature an almost identical brush roll design. Both robots were tested to have fairly low airflow and suction, offset by their having two brush rolls instead of one. And the two brush rolls they have are essentially interchangeable between either robot. This brush roll design lends itself to not tangling as easily with longer hair. And in our human hair pickup testing, both the i3 and i7 performed better than most other robot vacuums we tested. The opposite was the case in our pet hair pickup testing. Here, both the i3 and i7 had some trouble picking up the shorter pet hair used for this test, more so than most other robot vacuums we tested. Otherwise, the i3 and i7 have identical battery life, only 80 minutes. They both have essentially identical dust bins with a volume of 500 milliliters, and the plus models of each robot come with the exact same self-empty clean base. Both robots also have the same noise output, measured at 65 decibels. In terms of general recommendations, the i7 is the much better robot vacuum. Its full-fledged mapping ability, that is being able to set keep-out zones and cleaning zones, makes a big difference in day-to-day -day use of the robot. So does its better edge performance. It is considerably more expensive though, so you do have to pay for these large advantages. If you're on a limited budget, the i3 does compare very favorably to the i7 outside of mapping functionality and edge performance. See the description of this video for links to buy these robots, as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend, and thank you for watching.